Hey everyone, the F1 season is getting closer and closer. We've had the first F1 launches, starting with Haas and Williams, Stack F1 team, as well as the Olaf Fattori and Alpine. I'm gonna go into some of the details of what we can see from those first renders. Uh, they are the launch car. Launch car, what does it mean? It means that it's a car that was produced probably around October, November, when they start producing those parts to be able to go testing at, uh, at the first test of the year. Those cars are a baseline of what you're gonna what you're gonna start using at race one, but there's gonna be a lot of difference. Why? Because as I just mentioned, the launch car are decided in late autumn uh, and then they go in production. But then the wind tunnel and the CFD keeps going during all the winter, and they the team tried to get as close as they can to race one. Uh, if your production is a month. A month before race one is exactly when they stop developing and they go in, into production. So yeah, we, we can see some of the details on those cars, but mainly race one is where we're going to see the fine tuning. Anyway, let's uh, let's discuss about liveries and small details that we can see and concept and uh, let's have some fun. Starting with Haas, we can see that they, uh, well, obviously they went very black on the design uh, and we uh, keep kind of the same sponsors as last year. Um, they obviously they use Red Bull as an inspiration, so very tiny air intake at the front of the side pods, very steep slides coming off the side pods uh, towards the rear wheel. And if we change the view to the front, I don't see any massive change from last year. Um, we can see those those very very si small side pods entry. I think the best way would be to compare uh, the two pictures from from last year and from this year, and yeah, the side pod entry is very different. The suspension seems to be pretty much the same place. Uh, the mirrors, they're gonna do some work on them, I'm pretty sure. The front wing, kind of the same philosophy, quite loaded on the inside and unloaded on the outside. Maybe it's a bit more curved at the bottom, but no real big difference there. So as I say, I think that's really, really much a launch car. Uh, and we're gonna see a lot of different things when they bring the car on track for the first time. Now, if we look at the Williams, good looking car. I like the different uh, colors of blue that they've been using. Um, in terms of what we can see, they still have those, well, they have those tiny openings as well on the front end of the side pods. Um, they try to bring as much air down as they can on the diffuser from, from the back end of the side pods. They've got those cooling opening um, on the rear bodywork. And uh, if we actually look from uh, behind, they have that very um, kind of big opening Mercedes type cooling. So I guess that's that's really down to the Mercedes engine that they have to have that big opening uh, at the back of the car, try to get the hot air out of it. Diffuser, quite square. I think we're going to see some updates there. Uh, but obviously on the render or on a picture of the launch, you don't want to show too much on that, on that end uh, because that's going to be a, a secret part of the, the car. And then front end, um, well, as has very loaded wing on the inside, um, and then outside tried clear some air. Very straight suspension, uh, pretty big nose I must say, but that's that's very similar to last year. They had very good top speed last year, so that's something they're definitely going to try to keep and improve a little bit their downforce. Um, so difficult to see exactly on those pictures but uh yeah quite quite a bit of cooling at the rear uh same concept on the side pod as the others and front wing as well i'm sure we're going to see a lot of updates but uh so far that's what we can see on the williams on to stake f1 team green very very green if you love green you're going to love it if you don't like green well you may struggle a bit but anyway looks like a hunko solinga car Valtteri running 77 number so that's my sister car in formula one quite funny um it's uh, it's an aggressive livery but it's an aggressive car as well quite a lot of changes at the front we went from push road to pull road suspension that is good for aerodynamic not so good for mechanical grip so they must have seen something right there the front wing quite loaded on the outside compared to everyone else that's loaded much more on the inside so a bit of a different philosophy there but kind of in line with what they are last year the roll hoop has been changed as well the roll hoop design has been slightly changed a little bit like a Haas one uh, we've got the Red Bull style front um, side pods uh, side pods really really pushed back a lot 
Um, so if we compare side by side, uh, I would say that the rear end of the car hasn't moved that much. Um, looks like the same kind of rear wing, same kind of shape on the side ports, same kind of shape on the rear bodywork. So they've, they're trying to uh, get as thin as they can and, and have a big opening for the uh, heat of the engine to go off the back of the car. Uh, on the top of the side pod, we've got those small inlets that are gone, but they may come back for hot races. That's really down to the outside temperature that you, you use them. Um, the diffuser, or the floor, should I say, the floor is a bit different. We had a lot of inlet last year uh, on, the, on the side of the floor, and this year it's more round openings. So that is obviously an area that's very important to work on, and uh, the team don't want to show too much of what they've done uh, on the first pictures of the car. So um, I feel like this is an area that they're going to keep working on for sure. Uh, if we look on the side, uh, I was talking about those side pods and you see how far back it is. Um, they actually have that small in wing at the beginning that is to hide the chassis crash structure and then they try to push the side pod as much back as they can. Very exciting car to see and uh, looking forward to see it on track. Say hi to the new Alpine F1 team. I like it. I like it a lot. I almost hoped there were more blue and pink on the car. But maybe, you know, maybe you don't know, the F1 teams are running more and more carbon, pure, no, no paint to save weight. Paint is quite, uh, quite heavy and, um, and they're trying to save as much weight as they can. So uh, from the side picture, what I noticed is obviously that, you know, same as everyone at the side pods, trying to bring as much air uh, on the diffuser as you can at the back of the, the car. But front of the side pod, I like that, that new piece uh, of carbon right here. That turning vein that uh, they've in, they've produced uh, pretty pretty big, uh, so that's kind of something new, and I really like it a lot. From the top part, uh, we can see how much effort goes onto the side pods, trying to bring as much air. There's the almost like big tunnel going towards the rear diffuser here, uh, trying to bring as much air as you can. And and those turning vein I was talking about are from the side pods. Here they are from the top picture. You can really see them well. Pretty, pretty big piece trying really to uh, to tunnel the, um, the air exactly where you want. Um, quite a round end of the diffuser in front of the, the rear wheels. Uh, that's quite an interesting shape. Uh, is it just a picture? Is it going to be like this? But I like that shape. That's one of the most sensitive area you can have on a Formula 1 car. So they've done a good job right there. From the front picture, we can see that they keep running a, a pretty a pretty square straight front wing as we've seen last year, um, quite loaded all the way through with, with just the outboard being being a bit, uh, being unloaded. Uh, look at those entry of the side pods. I think there's, there's been really a great amount of work done on the side pods and maybe the three quarter view is better to see that. Uh, I really like that that side pod entry. Very tiny. Uh, they've managed to save a lot of, of cooling effort there. Obviously, I think that bodywork is is very much a, a cold weather bodywork. There's no much place for the heat to to go out. But um, I like it. I think there's there's a lot of emphasis trying to bring the wind uh, or the air exactly where I want it to be. Um, so yeah, as I say, I, I just. Wish there was a little bit more color, but again, that's just for weight saving. So important these days, and uh, let's see what it does on track. But so far, I really like it. And last but not least, the Visa Cash App Red Bull F1 team. Uh, that's a long name, but it's also a pretty cool livery with a lot of painting. I really like that. I think uh, we've seen a lot of uh, cars using carbons, and uh, definitely on that one, we, we use the color. Um, Fainza has always been developing and designing their own car uh, since quite a long time but I think right now we are going to be closer to a Red Bull from last year. If you actually compare, open a compare between the, the Red Bull from 2023 and the, and the uh, Visa Cash app from 2024, uh, there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of common features and I think it totally makes sense for uh, the Fainza team base to use what the big brother Red Bull team has been doing um, over the last few years. They've been a developing car and um, it's a very common sponsor, I would say, a very common team-owned team. So for me, it, uh, it 
100% makes sense that they're going to use as much as they can from what the Milton Key based team is doing. So if we look at the front wing, there's some very, very similarities. If we look at the side pods, there's a lot of similarities. If we look at the, the back end of the car, there's a lot of similarities. If we look at the rear wing, same thing. So really, they've, they've used a lot of inspiration from Red Bull, and they can do that because they use the same gearbox, they use the same engine, so they have the same cooling requirements. And um, obviously, that's, uh, that's something that uh, they did well. Now, if we compare the car from 2023 and 2024, we can see that the, the front wing design has been changed slightly, uh, even though there's some similarities. Uh, the nose stayed similar. Uh, they went from push road to pull road. Uh, again, that's a Red Bull uh, feature. Uh, the side pod entry has been really redesigned completely. Uh, the rear wing as well and from the side we can really see that uh, that that very specific side pod design from um, from Red Bull with the the front end of the side but super high uh, very tiny entry and then trying to put a lot of air underneath it and at the back trying to have that big slide that comes down to the rear diffuser so yes it is it is very much uh, if I add now the Red Bull picture it is very much it is very much an inspiration from the Red Bull from last year. But again, I think that's the right thing to do. It was the fastest car on track. They are using a lot of similar components. So why not do it when you can do it? Um, so I think that gives us a good idea of, of maybe what the Red Bull could be uh, this year. Some of the features are slightly different, slightly more extreme. But I think uh, Daniel Ricardo and Yuki Tsunoda should have a decent car for the year. And that's good news.